In this session, you'll be learning a very handy and useful technique called Ajax. With Ajax, you can perform a task instantly without loading the whole website. In our application, we're going to apply this technique to remove the photos that you don't want to be in your room instantly without refreshing the whole this web page. Now, first, we're going to add some um, icon in here to allow user to click on it to remove and also we're going to add another icon here on the select photos. We will use the font awesome icon. So there is a link to the charts icon and there is a link to the cloud upload icon. To be able to use font awesome, there are two ways for you to do that. First, uh, you can install it James and um, run the bundle, follow on the instruction, it's very easy to use. Or you can just copy and paste this link, copy and put it inside the head section of your HTML page. Uh, to keep it simple, I'm going to do it this way. So let's go back to our application, open F, view, layout, application.html.erb and I'm going to put it here inside the head section. All right, save because this is the layout of the whole application, so we just need to put it in one place. Next, open the photos, photo list.html, and I'm gonna do something here. First, I'll just create an, a new div. Uh, here we got panel, let's say panel body. And inside this one, let's create this band with a class point right. And inside this class, just create a link. We say link to, and we say room photo path. And we just pass the photo dot room ID and photo. And we say remote to, remote to for the Ajax. And the method is gonna be um, delete and the data, we're gonna say confirm. Let's say, are you sure? And then we'll say do. And don't forget the close link. All right, so under that, I'm gonna copy this one. Copy and put it inside here, paste, save the five. And also, I wanted to open the rooms and photo upload HTML. And actually, for this one, I'm gonna create a span. Oh no, we don't need a span. Just uh, copy this one. Copy and put it here. All right, just make some space. Just like this. All right, save the five. Now go back here and hit refresh. Hey, beautiful. Now it's time for us to add the destroy function to remove the photos. Let's go back to our project. I want you to open controllers and photos controller. So here, we're going to create a new method named destroy. And under here, first we create a new variable named photo and we got photo.fi params ID to get a photo based on the ID from a database and then we got room equal photo dot room to get the room of that photos and then we got photo dot destroy to remove that photos and then just create another photos variable to get a list of um, the remain photo belong to that room so we're going to say where rooms id is going to be room.id and after that we respond to js which stands for javascript so why do we need to return to javascript um, i will explain to you uh, in a bit but for now i want you to create um, a new javascript 5 so let's call this one a bit under photos, hit new five, and that's gonna be destroy 
.js.erb. Now make sure that you got it correctly, this .js.erb. So uh, after you respond to JS, uh, Rails will understand that you will run next to this five. And here we just put the very simple jQuery script, just like this one. Uh, we got first, we got four toes, and then we say HTML. And here we just need to say j render photos list. All right, so where the ID uh, has photos come from? If you open the photo upload HTML, remember that so we got a div with ID photos to render the list of photos, which is this list here. So that's mean in our destroy, uh, whenever you remove a photo, we're going to refresh that list by saying, hey, for that div, just re render the photo list for me. Because this dischart.js or ERB and the photo list under the same folder, so we don't need to specify photos here. All right, set the five. Now let's see what's happening in the process. Let's go here. First, I want you to refresh the page. All right, now if you click on this one, for example, hit first, it's going to ask you, are you sure? If you hit OK, look at this, it just remove it. And what's happening behind the scene first, it's going to run the photo controllers, this choice action, and it's going to find the photos that you want to remove based on the ID and it just destroy it. And then it just uh, gets all the remains photos belong to the ID and it's respond to JS. Once you respond to JS, it's going to run the destroy.js.esb because there is a JavaScript file. And what's happening in this file? It just re-render the whole list inside here. So that's why it just re-render a new list, uh, which is this one. So now you understand what's happening. If you open the database, uh, let's go to the rooms. Let's go to photos. Yep, we just got only one photos. So now you understand how we can get our Rails controller work it with Ajax and JavaScript or jQuery in a very simple way. Um, one thing I should mention here, um, that's in the photo list, um, inside this link to destroy a photo. Remember that I mentioned remote two. Uh, make sure that you got this one in the request or in the form um, whenever you want to work with Ajax. Now, at the moment, um, we have our photo stored in this folder. If you scroll down, open public, system photos image, uh, this one, this one, and you've got different photos in a different size. So once your application goes live, uh, it will be stored in your own server. Um, everything is working fine and you can stop here. But if you want to store your photos in a cloud storage service like Amazon S3 instead, um, then I'll see you in the next video.